Well hello there and welcome to issue 94 and this issue is all about the Aquarius monkey but as you can see on the caption prior to the video those are all the dates you have to be to fall into this western and eastern astrological combination um, so you know it's quite a tricky one to really check those dates um, because sometimes you can be born in a year where it will tell you hey all of 1932 is say for instance or monkey but it's not because it splits so you have to really really check these uh, all the way through up into the present day so be careful with that one okay let's start straight away with our Aquarius monkey as a child now the Aquarius monkey is a dreamer um, that's just the way they are uh, they can be quite aloof and it's quite noticeable early on that they may have one or two close friends but they tend to be dreamlike, very similar um, children uh, whom they form a close bond with. Um, they're not really one for the, the group. Um, as I say, they're quite um, individual in the sense of they can skim across subjects. Uh, it's trying to get them to concentrate, and you'll find this as they progress through the school years. Um, they will know a little bit about it, everything, but it's trying to get that in-depthness in them and that's going to be very hard because they really have such a complex thought process. It's really quite hard um, and they will tend to learn so much more outside of school than they do in school. It's just the way this combination is. Um, they will have their own subjects that they enjoy uh, at home or, as I say, uh, their own sort of um, activities um, they can be quite unique um, it can be anything from you know uh, rock climbing to fossil um, checking for fossils um, excavating for old ruins um, they may be king fishermen fisher ladies uh, but they won't tend to be a school one of the meal lessons like your mathematics geography history uh, English, they do enough to skim across it, but they'll be waiting for home time. They are dreamers, they really have expansive and uh, um, um, well, amazing visions. Really, they're uh, they are an inventor in the making, they will look at simplistic things and just things that people haven't thought of, but they're very good at this. The simplistic thing and while they're sitting there very quiet and you think they're very aloof they are planning oh wouldn't this be useful wouldn't that be useful so you really do have to understand this combination um, it is a tricky one um, they're very affable once you get to know them they're very friendly they've got a good smile and they're a very loyal friend a very staunch and loyal friend but it does take a bit of time and this is one I stress where you have to really um, sit back sometimes, allow them space, let them um, let them find out in their own way. But this is when I ask for the changes when we've gotten into the early mature years, as we say, uh, university if they decide, or college if they decide. Um, they may go for specialist subjects in university, very, very possible. But um, this is where they need a bit of a, um, not somebody to kill their dreams, and I don't mean that because you will, will in essence then take away um, a big part of this personality, but somebody who needs to anchor in, somebody who needs to get a bit of pragmatism to this combination, because this combination allowed to uh, drift through life will be coming up with such eccentric um, and extreme philosophies, um, ever, anything from um, peculiar eating habits to um, just some quite uh, vehement and quite aggressive um, views on a certain religion or a certain race. So you, they do need somebody to anchor roll them to somebody, somebody to uh, sit in there and say, hold on a minute, let's look at this in a pragmatic um even way because um, they tend to have friends that yes they're similar minded but they're also 
in a green light state where they're very uh, not looking at the here and now. So problems can manifest with this combination, um, being gamblers thinking they're going to win um, the lottery, um, thinking they're going to win the football pools, uh, thinking that they're going to go through all the greyhound card or all the horse card. Um, and when they don't, they think, how on earth did that happen? So we've got to get some stability, and this is what they need. They may not want that, or think they want that, but they need it. Uh, because when they are uh, got a pragmatic person around them, somebody who harnesses their visions, someone who harnesses their faults, then we have such a fantastic combination that things can come to fruition because when those visions come in that have, as I say, that simplistic just, I don't know, inventing a card game, inventing a um, board game, inventing a, a, a simplistic, maybe a simple way on a computer program. When they've got somebody there that backs and says, no, that will work, then they should run with it because you know, it's getting that cast iron, um, you know, feedback which they need because we can't allow this combination, and I'm sorry Aquarius Monkey if you're listening, I think you're a fat combination, but to really get the benefit of you, we really need to check these ideas and sometimes, um, you know, uh, it's not always best to run with the people who think exactly the same because you end up forming a strange cult that may not possibly get you anywhere in life apart from a lot of debts and also um, possibly a lot of enemies. So what we've got to do, we've got that and I like to see them in a relationship younger but I like to see them with the right person because if they have the wrong person then wow, you know, you're looking at um, unhappy times for both parties and you know, and I mean extreme happy times where you know, the debtors are going to be knocking the door continually. Um, you're not going to know where you're going to be living. You don't know whether you're going to be eating. It's going to be things like this. So let's really, really find that right person. And, you know, the previous monkey, when you get that right person, it's only going to be so beneficial to you, absolutely beneficial to you, because then we can let that, that mind of yours with the dreams, turn them into concrete dreams, turn them into solid plans. Um, because you know a fantastic inventor in the way in the making here and once you wake that up in their personality um, and they think no we get the business plan for this invention then you know the world's your oyster then you can have um, the riches that you enjoy you love to look smart you love your clothes you love nice things so all these things then become a reality then you are a very happy person the people around you are a happy person um, and plus you feel as though hey I feel good about myself I feel stronger than I've ever felt because this is quite a sensitive deep down sign who's searching forever searching um, for a balance and they will find balance then then you'll find that they've got a lot that they can pass on with um, lateral thinking and innovative ideas you know and then they can then be the backup to the extreme dreams, etc. So it's it's really getting that fit in place, getting in place in the early years. I, I advise later teens, early twenties for relationships. So let's find the perfect matches. Well, we have to look at dragons because dragons, they have the wealth, uh, they have the ability to control, um, not stifle the monkey, that control the monkey in a positive sense. They will have the money for the backing, plus they will have, okay, let's to and fro this idea. You know, they, you will want to listen to the dragon as well. You will accept their um, wisdom, um, because you don't listen to everybody. But the dragon's someone you think, hey, you know, they're proven. Um, I like the way they put it across. They're very strong. You need someone strong, Aquarius monkey, to, to sort of make it equal and so let's look for the dragons and wonderful matches are found with the Gemini, the Libra, the Sagittarius and the Aries very very strong but they're not going to dampen your spirits, they're not going to crowd you out, they're not going to stifle you so it's very very positive 
matches there. Also the rats, because the rats, they love their security, so they're not going to let you go on a crazy scheme and gamble everything, or trying to make something that isn't going to work. They're going to be very cautious in the sense of, okay, how will this benefit us? And they'll be running this through with you, and you will also appreciate the security and the love you get off the rats, so you won't want to jeopardise that. So that's another excellent match. So let's look for the Librans and the Geminis, the Aries and the Sagittarians. All of the rat family, they're all fantastic. The ones we have to avoid are Tigers because, as we know, there's a different rhythm. Um, the Tiger won't be as tolerant of these uh, lateral thinking and these um, crazy plans, shall we say, um, in a nice way. Uh, they will want things done with a blueprint. Um, they like to be very fair to whoever they're dealing with. But the monkey likes to go about in their own way, their own rhythm. They don't like to be stifled. This is going to be such a conflict that I really, really advise um, this union totally. Even as uh, you know, business partners, anything romantic or otherwise, let's forget that. We do have to touch on um, a sign of caution with the health, with the Aquarius monkey, and it's all about circulation because of the total mental ability going on. Um, they forget sometimes to exercise the body, therefore they can have circulation probably problems. Um, Thoracus veins can be uh, very, very troublesome for them, and it's just to get enough energy in the body they love to exercise the mind, but the body is just as important sometimes to switch off, um, get out, get out and get involved, get on the cycle, get playing a game of football, get uh, you know whatever ice skating, roller skating. Now and then, you know, and uh, you know, get, keep everything moving because sometimes um, that can be the problem in an activity sense where the mind is buzzing and they're great conversationists and that part of them is so stimulated that the body forgets, they forget to stimulate the other parts. Okay, well thank you for tuning into this issue and please join me for the next one.